Bai from Jane Equipment. Today we're going to be doing a demonstration on our Stealth Proportioner mixing system. Um, it's a new product we recently just released. Um, you've probably seen pr pretty similar stuff out there. I just wanted to shoot a video on how it's set up, how it's going to work, and a couple of things you want to do when you're setting this up. So here I have a pretty simple, simplified setup of how this works. I'm coming off of the suction end of my diaphragm pump coming directly into the mixing proportioner system. And then on the outside lines, I have water demonstrated here with blue water. I have my surfactant in the center demonstrated here with red water. And I have my bleach on the other outside line demonstrated here in the green water. Um, the bleach and the water lines do have a thicker ID hose compared to the surfactant because we never want equal parts of surfactant in the mix. Um, so that is designed like that. You always want to make sure your surfactant is your thinnest bar. Um, pretty much when you are spraying, well, before we go into spraying, let me keep talking setup. So when you guys are setting this up, one thing you kind of want to make sure is that you're able to flush your surfactant and your bleach line with clean water. So the two ways that's going to, you're going to be able to do that is either you, if you're able to lift your dipstick out of your surfactant and bleach tank and put it into clean water, thus allowing all three to draw from your clean water tank. The other option would be to put some three-way ball valves somewhere in line where you would switch back to just clean water, giving you the ability to flush the system out. Even though these are specially designed check valves and control valves that can handle bleach, um, specifically made for chlorine and bromide application, uh, you still want to make sure you're flushing them. It's very important that you always flush uh, your system out. You don't want to leave bleach in the check valve or the control valve unnecessarily. Um, with the surfactant, what really happens a lot is it dries out in here and crystallizes and then it sticks it all together where it's no longer operating the way it should. So that's just a tip on the setup. Um, it's pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, the one caveat is you want to make sure you're able to flush these two lines out with clean water. Now that we've got all that, let's go ahead and get into doing some spraying. So the first thing I'm going to do before I even turn my pump on is I will say we're going to go ahead and open up our water, which is this one over here, all the way to number five. Uh, but I will say most jobs, you will always be operating at number five on your water. There's very um, few situations where you're going to be doing less than the most amount of water that you can. Um, moving on to the bleach, we're going to talk mixes really fast. So when I open this all the way up and I have five and five, that's a 50-50 mix. That's pretty straightforward. Five and five, I'm doing 50% water, 50% bleach. It's a one-to-one -one mix. I bring my bleach down to number four. So now I have five on my water, floor on my S, four on my SH line. I will now be doing 56% water, 44% bleach. I move this down to number three. I'm now doing 37% bleach, 60, I'm sorry, 37% bleach, 63% water. Bringing this to number two. I will be doing 28% bleach, 72% water. Bringing this down to number one, I will be doing 17% bleach, 83% water. And if I were to turn it off, I'd have 100% water once again. As far as the SH line, this center one, I'm not gonna tell you there's a specific number to use because honestly, that's the truth. Different surfactants have different mix uh, quantities that they expect you to mix it at. And then on top of that, based on your personal preference or your experience, you're going to want to use different amounts of surfactant anyway. Uh, one thing I will say is it's probably, you're probably going to be two, maybe three or below. Um, I personally haven't found many reasons to go up to four and five on this, but there certainly could be situations, um, especially depending on the type of stains that you are attacking or growth that you're attacking out there on these roofs or walkways. Um, so now we've got it uh, kind of talked about. Let's fire it up and see it in action. So I'm going to go ahead and do a 50-50 mix. I'm going to keep my surfactant line off. And um, let's see what, uh, what kind of action we get here. So I'm flipping on my diaphragm pump. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger. Once I pull the trigger to start priming it, we're going to see these uh, fill up with some liquid. 
So there we noticed the two lines immediately drew. And now that I'm primed up, I'm seeing my mix coming in the bucket. As you can see, I'm not getting any sudding. Right now, the way I have it set up, I'm doing a 50-50 mix of water and bleach, even though this is just an example with blue and green water. Now that I've got my 50-50, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my soap line here, and I'll go to a number three on it and pull the trigger. And there you see my soap immediately got drawn into the mix. One thing I'll mention is when you're turning these dials on the fly, you are gonna lose prime for a little bit because when you open the valve, you're introducing an air bubble to the system. So just something to keep in mind, you will lose a little bit of prime, but just stay on the trigger. It should come back once the air bubble finds its way out. So now as we see the spray, immediately now we're seeing our suds. So right there, I've injected my surfactant into my 50-50 bleach mix. Um, you know, as I'm working my job, if I'm noticing I'm a little too hot or not hot enough, I can just mix it on the fly. I can even decide to turn down my surfactant, turn down my bleach and keep spraying. And like I said, all these mixes are pretty much done on the fly. Once I'm ready to go into rinse mode, I could technically just turn these completely off now. And um, as I pull the trigger, get some of these suds out of there. Now you can see I'm only getting blue water, no more green, because that was my bleach, red was my soap, blue was just clean water. Now I'm back to shooting clean water that quickly and that easily. That is the overall mix. That's the design of the system. It's not very complicated. A lot of people out here like to complicate these things. It is very simple and this is nothing new. People have been doing this in South Florida since about 1988. Uh, you know, this isn't anything new that we're not accustomed to down here in our market. And I am gonna put up a link to the mix ratio chart on my YouTube. It's gonna be on my website also. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us about our stealth proportioner mix system. Thanks a lot and have a great day.